on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Uh, where am I now? Uh, I didn't die back there, did I? Let's see. I had a magazine. And I went to sleep. And I wake up and here I am now. <gasps> I did die. And this is the afterlife. I made it. I finally made it to heaven. My reward. Thank you, Kami. Oh, wait. Thank you, God. As he, as he starts flying off and he see he's a park and he sees people. And as soon as he lands, he's, why is the afterlife filled with children? God? Is this heaven or hell? Don't, don't tell me. If this is the afterlife I've earned, I've been gypped. Send me back, please. I must inform the masses of the afterlife is bullshit. Wait, let me. Ow! Oh. Oh, well, I guess I'm not in hell. Thankfully. I'm not in heaven. Regretfully. So I'm in the living world, am I? But why are they bullying that young man? Hmm, I may need to intervene. Who knows, maybe, maybe the boy has a buxom mother? Huh? Uh. Hello. Uh. Hello, young man. May I ask, where am I? Japan. Ah, so I'm not dead. In a way, why were you, those boys messing with you? I was helping this kid they were bullying. Well, from what I saw, you got your butt whooped. Why didn't you fight back with the same kooky weird abilities they had? <coughs> I don't have a quirk. What's a quirk? It's a bil ability that you're born with. And my boy, I knew people who could destroy solar systems and still be holding back. Really? Yes. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could destroy a planet with ease. Wow, you're amazing. You, you sound stronger than All Might. Who the hell is that? He's the number one hero here. Hmm. Is he boastful? Well, a, a little bit. Does he like using smoke and mirrors? No, not really. He saves people and... Really? With his own power? Doesn't let everyone else do the work for him? No. In fact, I hear that he did three days worth of hero work without even resting. Wow. He's a lot different from Mr. Satan. Hmm. Come, I'll take you home. Wait, but I don't even know your name. Call me Roshi. And you are Izuku. Well, it's nice to meet you, son. Come. Let's take you to your parents. Well, technically, I only live with my 
Mom, my dad's overseas. Say no more. Point me in the direction. I will fly right there. I mean, I'll take you straight home. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Upon Izuku and Master Roshi heading to Izuku's apartment, he looks at Inko and she she's prime Inko. This is a kid Izuku, so prime Inko. So, madam, I. Um, it is a pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Roshi, your nose is bleeding. That? <clears throat> so, um, allow me to introduce myself. Hi, Mr. Roshi. Uh, yes, how would you know? My son just said so. Oh. Either way, thank you for... Uh, wait. He's like, what happened to you? Why are you all... Why you seem so hurt? Ah, uh, he was protecting this kid from being bullied, but got bullied himself. What? Was it Kotsky? He's like, looking down. A... What did I tell you about playing hero? You... Well, hey, there's nothing wrong with being... Someone's hero, or at least attempting. Well, without Quirk, he see he doesn't seem to be able to. Ah, oh, who needs a Quirk? I'll train the boy myself. What? Yes, I've trained people before, and they are mighty powerful. But I must know. Are you determined to be a hero, my boy? Yes. Are you willing to allow him to fulfill his dream under my guidance? Um. Uh, Inko looking at Izuku with the puppy dog eyes, like, please. Uh, Alright, but. Please don't come back with anything broken. Can you do me that kindness? Madam, I promise you, once I'm done training this boy, he will far surpass all might in power. Really? You can do that? Trust me, of all the people I've known in my long life, it is possible. As yeah, he go undergoes the same training as Goku and Krillin did in Dragon Ball. So, only thing is, he's younger than they were. Let's say that this is so. It's a lot more difficult for him to really get more in tune to the added weight of that damn turtle shell. <laughs> Luckily, he is a smart kid. He's he's definitely smarter than Goku. So, my thing is, he's not a combat genius. So, I'm not sure if he has to break it down to simpler matters. He's not good when it comes to key, but when it comes to the martial arts, he picks up on that quick enough. We see. When he sees uh, Professor Roshi use a Kamehameha wave, he is in utter awe. And Master Roshi didn't even have to buff up. He didn't even try, really. He was just like, here's just a de demonstration of what you'll be able to do. Yeah, Izuku, he is beyond amazed and Master Roshi he loves that I mean when Goku first saw it, he was like wow that's awesome now let me do it and then as things progressed he was pretty much like oh I'm not that special anymore am I so yeah when it comes to that Izuku is pretty much like the obedient 
as well as attentive pupil Masaroshi loves. And him being able to see Ego every now and again when he takes him home. <laughs> Ingo's, Ingo's overly nice, but Masaroshi ain't stupid enough to actually try anything at risk getting his ass whooped. Do his experience with Wyman, he knows, uh, okay, chances are he's going to curb stomp me if I go too far. Which, Inko, she might. It depends on my mood. It's when Izuku's 10, and everyone in his school knows he's different. He has more bulk, he's more confident. Hell, he hasn't really talked to Bakugo at all, because he's so busy training. So, one time, when they actually are in Dagobah Beach, Izuku is cleaning it, so it's nowhere near as dirty. But, Bago shows up, starts kicking up the explosions. Izuku does get hurt. Only thing is, Bakugo doesn't get out of that unscathed. Only thing that really had in Bago's favor, besides his powerful quirk, is pretty much he had numbers. Master Roshi was there. He just said, uh, this would be a good lesson for you. So yeah, Izuku does get hurt, just not really as bad, and Bago and his friends definitely... See that, yeah, yeah, Zuku's not as weak as he was before. Now, let us get to a 12 year old Izuku, in which Masaroshi is like, all right, now, before we start with our, our key training, uh, what? Do you need me to, to do another marathon? Oh, of course not. It is time you become a man. What? Calm yourself, boy. <laughs> Here. What, what, what was this? These sacred texts are what caused me to become the man I am today. I share them with you. Sacred text. The, the these books. Yes. Read upon them and absorb their knowledge. Take them home and learn all you can. Really? Yes. These books are very important. Treat them well, and they shall do the same to you. Do your research, and tomorrow we shall begin our key training. Oh, okay. Thank, thank you, uh, Master Roshi. Think nothing of it. I'm just happy to have someone to pass on this knowledge to. Someone so impressionable. As, yeah. Before he's usually he's like, make sure your mother doesn't see them. What? She, she may not understand the texts. Oh, uh, okay. As soon as Zuku just speed passing go, her asking how's training, he's like, it was great. <laughs> Him crack opening. Oh yeah, it was. Oh yeah, it was the Dirty Magazine. Izuku gets nosebleeds. Him looking. <coughs> Whoa! Wait, these are. The Sacred text, him closing it, but him just uh, peeking again. Well, these were a gift from my master. I, I, it'll be rude not to at least skim over some of them. Him reading, or at least looking at the pictures. Let's just say there, there was a lot of nosebleeds 
and uh, bloody tissues that uh, Inko is worried about. Izuku hid these sacred texts just to make sure he's like, yeah, Mom can't know I have these. She will not understand. <laughs> well, boy, what did you think? As uh, <laughs> yes, yes, the you you read them all, didn't you? I did. Thank you, Master. You are quite welcome, my boy. I am happy to have enlightened you. But seriously, how do these make you stronger? Because they give you something to protect. What? Yes. You, these, they are meant to be protected. Wait, uh, you? Oh dear. What? You, you don't get it. What? What? Have you, have you not seen the sort the material I uh, recommended you? Oh yes, that was a very weird. Wait, that was a dirty movie, wasn't it? No, that was Midnight. That was just her doing hero work. You, did you didn't you pay attention to her quirk? All I knew was that her clothes started to come off, and that's all I need to know. <sighs> Allow me to explain. What? Yeah. You say her quirk allows her to knock pe people out? Ever smell this weird... Musky, th guess she admits, yeah. And and whoever smells it knocks gets not out, regardless of gender and race and whatnot. Species, correct. Women should not have these powers. Huh? Wait, what? Imagine if she was a villain, my boy. All you have to do is flash you, you. Uh, uh, wait, flash? Yes. She can rob you blind while you're distracted, then knock you out without even touching you, and rob you worse. She can rob you to, until you're nothing but your skippies. Oh, exactly. That is terrifying. Ooh. Like I said, we should not have such powers. Being in a fair fight where she can beat the shit out of you is one thing. But if she can knock you out, all for a smell, and flash you at the same time. Imagine explaining that to the police. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Yes. Exactly. They would be like, okay, what does she look like? Oh. Yes, right. You wouldn't be looking at her face, now would you? I know I wouldn't. <coughs> oh, that's right. That is terrifying. I know. Huh. So uh, again, with with uh, this whole thing needing to be protected thing, what, what was that about? There are more books, my boy. What? There are there are more sacred texts just waiting to be discovered. You don't say. Oh, but I do. I do. I've seen them before in my own eyes. There is a treasure trove of 
sacred text just waiting to be discovered and appreciated. Don't you think that's worth fighting for? I, I um, admit it. Admit it. You had some nosebleeds too. I, 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 um, I, I understand, Master Roshi. I knew you would. <laughs>